Why do you keep going? Uh, why do I keep going? Mm. I keep going because my, <laughs> my children <laughs> poke me all the time. That's me. <laughs> that would be me. No. And Mark and Ian. Mark and Ian, yeah. yeah. Does it give you joy? Yeah. Not the same joy, though, right? Well, it's, uh, it's different. Because this will be your first show with no chief. That's right. But you seem so resilient. Like every day you try, every day you're working on your sculptures. Yes, I like to move forward a little bit. Are you excited about the show? Oh, I'm really looking forward. So you've got this show in New York, next fall in Washington. Do you plan more beyond that? You know, if the material comes to my place, like this right here, I can just go ahead and do the next thing. And create. Right. These logs over here, what we see are a bunch of big fat sticks sitting on the ground. What do you see? Well, I see a bench and a second bench, and I see totems. Tell me about stick art. I found this wood on this property. We just simply went up to the top of the tree and cut down branches. Mm. And we had to cut the edges on each side. I really like these forms because they give you a feeling of movement. It's like they're dancing. Yes, that's exactly it. Do you remember the book I wrote, All Things at Once? Yes. Did you still hate it? <laughs> I, I never really hated it. <laughs> You remember the meaning, though, of the book, about how you were a wife and a mother yeah. and an artist all at once. Yeah, right. That's where the name came from, actually, where you answered a question for a story I did on CBS, where I said, what are you first, a mother, a wife, an artist? And you said all things at once. Yeah, that's right. So how do you think, especially given the challenges of your generation, that you were able to manage all things at once? so effectively that you're here having shows in New York City and Washington DC and well, beyond. I think that the ambition that some artists go with is lost. And uh, like for example, instead of doing 20 sculptures, you do three. Mm -hmm. And so you just have to put up with that. So sometimes you have to scale back, but That's keep right. going. That's right. And yeah. even now. Yeah, keep, even now. You're compelled to keep going. Yeah. What do you think of me? <laughs> <laughs> what do I think of you? Yes. Am I okay? Yes. I think you've done very well. <laughs> really? Not bad. I figured I'd get this on the record, you know. I, there's no problem with me? No problem. No visuals? No, nothing? No. Really? <laughs> That's a great. Do you know your value? Yes, I do. What's your value? My value is to be able to exist as an artist. There's a few other pieces that you can show me in the yeah. shed, right? Right. All right, let's go. And remember, Mom, you're giving me this. Oh, I will. Don't, I'll, don't give it to someone else. I won't forget. Okay. Don't forget it. Don't let Mark take it. So white oak vertical is three pieces? Three pieces. Uh -huh. And they're all from one tree. I picked out this in, as I was driving by in the country, and I realized that it was an extraordinary tree, and it was a wonderful thing to be able to use the ax on it. And to have all three pieces come from the same tree. From the same tree, because wow. you don't have to match them. Yeah. Yeah. How did you do this, Mom? Well, it's very natural for one to do it, because you cut, cross-cut one in one direction, mm -hmm. and then you chip it in the other direction. With a chainsaw? No, you chip it actually with a mallet and a, a hammer. And then which is cores? Well, this is one of them. This is one of them. Okay. Yeah. It's huge. These are these oblong shaped. They're not regular. They're crooked. Right. And that's when I, why I picked them, because uh -huh. I, I happen to like things which have an unusual shape. Beautiful, Mom. Can't wait to see it at the show. And I love the name of it. Chainsaw Progressions. Oh, you like that? I love it. Oh, good. Yeah. It's very cool.
Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.